What's up guys, tonight was a fun night. We uh, got to shoot for the Little Rock Rangers, who there's a, uh, they're a semi-pro soccer team here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, basically what I was doing tonight, it was actually some spec work. So not getting paid for it. This is just something that I wanted to do for fun. But hopefully this piece will be able to uh, get some future work. I've really been wanting to get more into the sports realm, uh, doing football and basketball and soccer as well. And I think I chose the hardest sport to start with. I feel like with basketball and football, you really, you can kind of predict where the action is going. With soccer, man, it was all over the place, especially with this lens. So this was kind of the most exciting part for me tonight was trying out this new Sigma. It's a 60 to 600 millimeter lens and it covers full frame, which is pretty unheard of. Uh, unless you're like working in the broadcast realm. And even those are for smaller sensors. The lights are turning off, so I'm gonna make it quick. Okay, so I had the FX6 with the 60 to 600, and I was uh, behind the opposing team's goal, hoping to capture the Little Rock Rangers scoring a goal. We did, I haven't looked at the footage. I don't know if I actually got it, but I know I was recording and pointing in the similar uh, like direction. So I hope we got it. I haven't looked at it yet. But one of the things that I learned with this is with this big of a setup, you've got to invest in a heavy duty tripod. The tripod that I have is not rated for this weight. This is not balanced well. So I was really fighting it the whole time, really struggling with uh, the balance and tracking players tracking the ball everything it was it was pretty difficult so tip number one don't skimp on a tripod tip number two you don't need 600 millimeters honestly i would have been perfectly fine with a 70 to 200 uh, and so i think for next time i may pack like a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200 that i can quickly change the lenses really fast. Uh, I also had a buddy of mine, Joel. Uh, he's got an awesome YouTube channel as well. I'll put him in the description, but he was on the uh, DJI Ronin, the original model, doing some more sweeping gimbal shots of the field, wide stuff. Uh, he was on a 35 most of the time. He switched to an 85 every, every once in a while, but he was doing more wide stadium shots, crowd shots, uh, and so, Looking forward to seeing what that looks like as well. Uh, but yeah, we had a super fun time tonight. Uh, this was a huge learning experience. The next time that we come out and shoot sports, we'll be way better prepared. Uh, the other thing is I, I literally have two minutes left on my media. I have two 128 gigabyte cards and I was shooting 4K60 and so those went by really fast so bring lots of media um, so yeah we will see how this footage turns out I can't promise an amazing edit uh, I may have to come back to another game just to have like a complete video with uh, and th the shots that I really want for this uh, but I'm gonna edit it if I actually have something I'm gonna play it now if I don't have anything the videos over peace I like the cliffhanger ending. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here.